Hi, today we're here to talk about OneSearch and how to use it. OneSearch searches most resources available in the Queens College Library. It is, in a sense, OneSearch to rule them all, but not quite. In OneSearch, you can find scholarly journals, articles, magazine articles, newspaper articles and journals, print books, ebooks, and scores, streaming videos, and DVDs. You can sometimes find resources in Queens College databases and articles from reference books. And you cannot find books, articles, journals outside of CUNY, data and statistics, company and industry reports, and market research reports. And this is the landing page for OneSearch, so you can always review this information. And just to point out, we also have some useful links here on the right-hand side, linking to all of our online resources, information about online reserves for courses for students and faculty, and other research help as well. And you can always chat with us online, check out our FAQs, or reach out to the subject librarian of your choice. So how do you get to OneSearch? Well, there are several ways. First off, you could take a photo of this QR code and get it to it that way. You can also go to the Queens College Library's homepage, just Google Queens College Library and you'll come up to this page. And OneSearch is right here under the quick links. Or you can go to the music research guide, music resources tab. And there's a link here as well as in our A to Z list down here. So in addition to these links here, and this useful information. There are also some other menus to know about. We have the OneSearch link. This just takes you back to a new search. So if you click here, you get the same page. You can search what journals we have. You can browse, which works like if you're in a, the stacks of a library where you can just look at the book spines. And there's also a citation search and another link to ask a librarian. So now that we're here, I'm going to do a search for Ethel Smythe who is a British composer from the late 19th and early 20th century. And I'm gonna put her name in quotation marks because that limits the search to the entire phrase and not just Ethel or Smythe. And you can see here, you can search Queens College Libraries, Queens College Course Reserves, or all CUNY libraries. And I'm just gonna restrict it to Queens College Libraries. And in the results, you can see we have an article, we have a book located in the Rosenthal Library, more articles, a score located in the music library, and a lot of different other things, audio CD, another article. So to filter through these results, you have a number of options. You can limit to full text online. You can limit to peer reviewed journals. And peer reviewed publications are books, articles, other forms of publications where scholars work have been vetted by peers or other scholars who are experts in the area. So you know everything that's published in a peer review journal is going to be reliable and done by someone who knows what they're talking about and has done the appropriate research. You can also find open access materials and items, if you're looking at print materials, items that are not checked out. Another filter I like to use is resource type. And here you can limit it to articles, reviews. Reviews tend to be reviews of books or scores or CDs or other materials. And while these are useful in identifying whether a particular source will be useful for you or not, they're not always good for research papers. So just be mindful of that as you're doing your research. And you can limit it to scores, audio, and if there are video recordings, video would be listed here as well. You can also limit by date, journal type, language, and so forth. But for this, I'm just gonna see what we have online. And so you can see we still have articles. We have an ebook or an online book available, which is pretty useful, and more online books and articles. So I'm actually going to start with this ebook. And once you click on the item you're interested in, you'll see a link. If it's an online link, you'll get this view online and you'll see a link to what to how to get to it. You can also scroll down, get the table of contents for the book, which is useful to see if it's something you'll be interested in using and it will give you some of the subjects covered in it as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to the book and I'm gonna click on this link and you'll have to log in. So simply click this middle link and you'll use your CUNY login credentials again, click login and it will take you to the book. Now, sometimes you'll get this page that says you're, you've been timed out due to inactivity. That just means I logged on recently and it timed me out. So just click refresh page 
and you'll get to the book. So here you can read online. You can download the book. This will check the book out to you for up to 21 days. You can get up to 91 pages downloaded to your computer at a time. And if you do that, you'll have that forever. Um, so these are some options. You can get the, the description of the book and click show more if you want more, plus the table of contents. So if you know there's a chapter you're interested in, you can just download that PDF. So for example here, I could download the PDF or go straight to the chapter. And I'm gonna go straight to the chapter just so you can see what it looks like. And it's just like reading a PDF or uh, another kind of document on your computer, nice and easy. And sometimes it'll take a second to load all of the text as well. So do make use of our eBooks. They're really great and they're easy to use. I'm gonna go back and just do a quick example of one article. And I'm gonna choose this one by Rachel Lumsden, who is a Aaron Copeland School of Music alumni. And we'll have a similar experience. You get all the bibliographic information up here and links to connect to the article here. And sometimes you'll even get suggested readings here. So these are, can be useful and do make use of them. When you get a list of a lot of links, it really doesn't matter which one you click. So if you're comfortable with JSTOR, then go to JSTOR. If you wanna use Academic One File, great, or Academic Search Complete, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna use Academic Search Complete just because, not for any particular reason. And again, it's gonna take me to this page and this will give you an abstract of the article and some other information and then a link to the PDF full text. And that of course is what I'm most interested in. So I'll click on that. And then you get the full article. Some databases will give you the option of a PDF full text or HTML full text. I always prefer PDF full text because you'll get the article just as it appears in the publication with images, mu music examples, and other things that may not appear in the HTML version of the article. And sometimes articles take a little while to upload, but they will get there. And you can save it to your Google Drive. You can print it. You can email it to yourself. You can download the PDF. There are a lot of different things you can do to save this article for future reading. So now that we have the article, you can see this is just as it appears in the printed journal, the way it's laid out in the text, very easy to read get all the footnotes and you get the citation information at the bottom of the page. And if there are any examples or images, you'll have those as well. So that's just a quick guide of how to use OneSearch. Please make use of it. If you have questions, you can check out the Music Library Resources page. The OneSearch tab has some more information, including reviewing what's included, as well as some tips on how to use it. And if you have further questions, feel free to email me right here. Thank you for watching and happy searching.